Monster Dungeon time! Okay, yup. We're done with, uh... The black... I wanna sound racist. The Shadowed Backwoods. There we go, Shadowed Back... Why do they call it the Shadowed Backwoods? That makes so much sense. Instead of being racist! All right, Palace of the Perished is next, so let's do that one. Don't want to sound racist. Let's go, I'm not racist. I'm a non-racist person, that's who I am. Um, enemies? Oh, no, there they are. Oh, Mad Mole and Cheater Cheetahs. Huh. Well, they're dead. Any other new enemies? Yeah, that one's dead. You're also dead. And you're dead as well. Cool. Oh, hey! See the strength! Awesome! I can use that. <laughs> Thank you, enemies. Maybe a whole lot stronger. Well, there's two entrances. I can go down or I can go up. Let's go up first. Fuck, I thought the I thought the boss would be here. No, I guess they're not here. That's odd. Cause usually the bosses would be up at a pedestal like this. I guess not. Guess I'm mistaken. Oh, is there like is there like a third enemy around here? Or is it just you two bastards? No, this has got to be a third enemy. I'm not going insane, right? I said there's a pattern. There's always three enemies in a dungeon. Usually there's... What the fuck? It's my second seed. Now you see where this guy got all the fucking seeds from. He kept fighting certain enemies in these dungeons. And it stacked on them. That would make a lot more sense how Vegetra got that strong. Now I'm starting to understand how he got that strong. <sighs> more Mad Moles and more che Cheater Cheetahs. Man, I love these enemies. I love these unique enemies. Especially the recolors. be a third enemy here, right? Right? Sorry, I'm going back upstairs to fucking look. Hey, a Medi Slime. There it is. Just wondering where these little fuckers might be. It's only on the thumbnail of the fucking dungeon on the bottom screen. I thought it would show up. And another scene of strength. Okay. 
It's like my third. Jesus, I don't... I'm thankful. Alright, I'll fight you. My brother's been talking to me about using the seeds, so should I just make one video just me using the seeds? I mean, I collected a fuck ton of them, so should I just say fuck it and just use them to use, use at some point? But I don't think it won't be fair for Vagister if I just fucking use them willy-nilly. Because then it will fuck up my, uh, my level ups in the future. The reason why Vegister told me not to fucking use the seeds was basically in here and I quote or I found out the hard way if you do use the fucking seeds before you make it to level 99 you will just get lesser hand, uh, stacked stats. Yeah, I'm not joking. Trust me. Before register, I learned that the hard way. So, saving the seeds is very important. Because the seeds, if you're like level maxed and you're like, oh, the, these stats suck. That's what the seeds are for. They can basically just help you get the stats you fucking wanted. Like, you want your main character to get more strength and use the seed of strengths. If you want more HP on a certain other party member, you can. You just gotta save them. And most of these seeds are fucking rare. Or you need to find the enemies. That can basically bear the seeds. Sphere, sphere of silence. Sounds like a song. What do you do? It's another item. Oh, cool. Stops all spells from working when and used in battle. And stops the enemy from casting spells when used in battle. So we got another item we can use during battle that I need to show off. Okay, so I'll go to another world cave and just go around and show these items and what they do. Because there's a spe certain enemy that can use spells in the game. So if I can stop them, that would be fucking awesome. Wish I got these things earlier. Ah, eh, well, what am I going to do? Alright, well, that's all time for this video today. I'll see you guys in the next dungeon. Peace.